Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? We're back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Scary Story, the Strangest Jigsaw Puzzle in the World by the channel Jason for Voorhees 2. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to him. He has helped us out a lot. He's given us a lot of good videos. So Traumatizing stuff. Some though. of them are... He, he asked us to react to a fart video. Oh Couple my God. fart videos. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> okay, but... He, Anyway, um, Jason. It was so funny, though, so I can't lie. Like, you keep us on our toes. That's... It was pretty comical, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, you guys can also help support our channel. Click on that link down below in the description. If you guys started on through Streamlabs, we're going to let you pick up the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video link title and your email, and let's get to that video. I'll start. All right. I'm so congested, though. Right. Tales from the Midnight Hour. J.B. Stumper. It was on the top shelf of an old book, old bookcase covered with dust and barely visible. Lisa decided she had to find out what it was. What was it? Of all the things in the old junk shop, it aroused her curiosity the most. She had looked through old books, prints, and postcards for hours. Nothing had caught her interest. Now the old box, high and out of reach, intrigued her. She looked around for the old man who ran the store. Where are you? But he had gone into the back room. She saw a stepladder across the room and brought it over to the bookcase. It looked, or it shook on the uneven floorboards as she climbed to the top step. Lisa patted her hand along the surface of the top shelf, trying to find the bo box. The dirt was thick and gritty on the board. Then she touched the box. It was made of cardboard. The cardboard was cold and soft from being in the damp room for such a long time. She lifted the box down slowly, trying to steady her balance on the stepladder. As the side of the box reached her eye level, she could read the words. 500 pieces. It's a puzzle. She sat the box down on the top of the stepladder and climbed down a few steps. She, then she blew away some of the dust that had accumulated on the lid. It billowed up around her with a musty, dead odor. Hmm. But now she could make out a few more words on the top of the box. The strangest jigsaw puzzle in the world. It's a jigsaw puzzle with 500 pieces, huh? Huh? It's a jigsaw puzzle with 500 pieces. Yeah. There were other words underneath that, but they had been rubbed off the cardboard lid. The big picture on the cover had been curio curiously damaged. Lisa could make out areas of light and dark. It looked as though the scene might be in a room. Can you, can you read some of this? I need to go blow my nose. Yeah, I got it. Sorry, guys. I'm super congested all the time. I have to have uh, septoplasty, which is a surgery, if you don't know. So that's why I'm always congested. <laughs> but most of the picture had been scratched off the cardboard box, probably by a sharp instrument. Like, what a knife? The mysterious nature of the jigsaw puzzle made it even more appealing to Lisa. She decided she would buy it. Oh, Jesus, Lisa, no, no, no. The lid was taped down securely. That probably meant that the pieces would be there. All the pieces would be there. She, as she carefully climbed down the step ladder, holding the box in both hands, Lisa smiled to herself. It was a quiet... It was quite a find, just the sort of thing she had always hoped to discover while ram rummaging through secondhand stores. The owner of the store came out of the back room as he was walking up to his sales desk. He looked curiously at the box when Lisa set it down. And where did you find that? he asked her. Lisa pointed to where she had set up the stepladder. It was on the top of that bookcase. You could barely see it from the floor. Well, I've never seen it before, that's for sure, the shopkeeper said. 
can't imagine how you found it. Lisa was more pleased than ever about her find. <laughs> she felt as though the puzzle had been hiding up there waiting for her to discover it. Oh, for it to discover her. She paid the shopkeeper the 25 cents he asked the pu for the puzzle and then wrapped it carefully in the newspaper. Here. Um, newspapers he gave her to take it home. It was late on a Saturday afternoon. Lisa lived alone in a small room in an old apartment house. She had no plans for Saturday night. Now she decided to spend the whole evening working on the puzzle. She stopped at a food mart and brought some bologna, bread, cheese, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise to make her favorite sandwich. She would eat while she was putting or while she put the puzzle together. As soon as she had climbed the flight of stairs to her room and put away the groceries, Lisa cleaned off the big table in the center of the room. She set the box down on it. The strangest jigsaw puzzle in the world. Lisa read the words again. She wondered what they could mean. Well, I mean, it's pretty... The strain, how strange could a jigsaw puzzle be? The tape that held the lid down was still strong. Lisa got out a kitchen knife to slice through it. When she lifted the cover of the box, a musty smell came out from inside. But the jigsaw pieces all looked in good condition. Lisa picked one up. The color was faded, but the picture was clear. She could see the shape of a finger in the piece. It looked like a woman's finger. Oh my god, I know where this is going. What? Lisa sat down and started to lay out the pieces top side up on the large table. It's going to be a picture of her. And there's somebody standing there when she finishes it. Yeah, that's, yeah that makes sense. It's weird because I thought of that too right when you said that. That's going to be creepy. That's the way I'd go with this. As she took them from the box, she sorted out the flat edge pieces from the inside pieces. Every so often, she would recognize something in one of the pieces. She saw some blonde hair, a window pane, and a small vase. There was a lot of wood texture in the pieces, plus what looked like wallpaper. Her wallpaper? Lisa noticed that the wallpaper in the puzzle looked a lot like the wallpaper in her own room. She wondered if the if her wallpaper was as old as a jigsaw puzzle. Do you want me to read it though? Yeah. It would be an incredible coincidence, but it could be the same. By the time Lisa had all the pieces laid out on the table, it was beginning to get dark outside. Dusk was beginning to settle over the evening sky. The she got up and made herself a sandwich. Already, her back was beginning to hurt a little from leaning over the table. But she couldn't stay away from the puzzle. Puzzles are addicting. She went back to the table and set her sandwich down beside her. It was always like that when she did jigsaws. Once she started, she couldn't stop until the puzzle was all put together. She began to sort out the edge pieces according to their color. There were dark brown pieces, whitish pieces, the wallpaper pieces, and some pieces that seemed to be like glass, perhaps a window. As she slowly ate her sandwich, Lisa pieced together the border. When she was finished, she knew she had been right about the setting of the picture when she first seen the puzzle. It was a room. One side of the border was wallpaper. Lisa decided to fill that in first. She was curious about its resemblance to her own wallpaper. This is good. She gathered all the pieces together that had the blue and lilac flower designs. She, as she fit the pieces together, it became clear that the wallpaper in the puzzle was identical to the wallpaper in her room. Lisa glanced back and forth between the puzzle and her wall.
Sorry, we had to tell her to hold on. We don't want to yell in the microphone. Um, it was an exact match. By now, it was already completely dark outside. Lisa leaned back in her chair. Her back was stiff. She looked over at her window. The night was pitch black outside. Lisa got up and walked over to the window. Suddenly, she felt uneasy, alone in the apartment. She pulled the white shade over the window. She paced around the room once, trying to think of something else she might do than finish the puzzle. But nothing else interested her. It's got to be of her. It is. Room. She went back and sat down at the table. Next, she started to fill in the lower right-hand corner. There was a rug and then a chair. This part of the puzzle was very dark. Lisa noticed uneasily that the chair was the same shape as the one sitting in the corner of her room. But the colors didn't seem exactly the same. Her chair was maroon. The one in the puzzle was in the shadows and seemed almost black. Lisa continued to fill in the border towards the middle. There was more wallpaper to finish on top. The left hand side did turn out to be a window. The, through it, a full moon hung in a dark sky. Oh my god. It's a full moon. But it was the bottom of the puzzle that began to bother Lisa. As the pieces fell into place, she saw a picture of a pair of legs crossed underneath a table. They were the legs of a young woman. Make it a puzzle. Lisa reached down and ran her hand along one of her legs. Suddenly, she had felt as though something was climbing up or crawling up it, but it must have been her imagination. She stared down at the puzzle. It was almost three quarters done. Only the middle remained. Lisa glanced at the lid to the puzzle box. The strangest jigsaw. She shuddered. Lisa leaned back in her chair again. Her back ached. Her neck muscles were tense and strained. She t thought about quitting the puzzle. It scared her now. Yeah, it scared me too. She stood up and stretched. Then she looked down at the puzzle on the table. It looked different from the higher angle. Lisa was shocked by what she saw. This is it. Her body began to tremble all over. It was unmistakable the picture in the puzzle was of her own room. The window was placed correctly in relation to the table. The bookcase stood in its exact spot against the wall. Even the carved table legs were the same. Lisa raised her hand to knock the pieces of the puzzle apart. She didn't want to finish the strangest jigsaw puzzle in the world. <laughs> She didn't want to find out what the hole in the middle of the puzzle might turn out to be. Oh, jeez. But then, she lowered her hand. Perhaps it was worse not to know? So, like, what? She When she takes the puzzle apart, or if she doesn't finish it, like, what's going to happen to her? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something's got to happen to her when she takes it apart. Perhaps it was worse to wait and one. 
wonder. Or perhaps it's better. Lisa sank back down into the chair at the table. She fought off the fear that crept into the uh, sore muscles of her back. Deliberately, piece by piece, she began to fill in the hole, the puzzle. She put together a picture of her table on which lay a jigsaw puzzle. This puzzle inside the puzzle was finished. But Lisa couldn't make out what it showed. She pieced together the young woman who was sitting at the table. The young woman had the same hair color as Lisa, but the woman's face was blurred. As she filled in the picture, her own body slowly filled with horror and dread. It was all there in the picture. The vase filled with red and yellow flowers, same as hers. Her own sweater that she was wearing, the wild look of fear in her own face that she now had. The jigsaw puzzle lay before her, finished, except for two adjoining pieces. They were dark pieces, ones she hadn't been able to fit into the area of the window. Lisa looked behind her. Ugh. The white blind was drawn over her window. With the relief, she realized that the puzzle picture was not exactly like her room. It showed the black night behind the window pane and a full moon shining in the sky. Through her own window, she could see no moon was in the sky. With trembling hands, Lisa reached for the second to last piece. She dropped it into one of the empty spaces. It seemed to be half of a dark shadow, but she couldn't make it out. She reached for the last piece. This is it, and there's going to be someone behind her. She pressed it into the small hole left in the pitcher. But suddenly, the lights went out, blanketing her in complete darkness. Damn. Lisa got up from her chair and stumbled in the dark. She walked over to the bookcase to get a candle and match. Finally, after she found what she needed, she went back to the table. Just before she sat down, she gasped as she heard a sound. She hurriedly lit the candle. The puzzle was not was now done, and the shadow was complete. The shadow in the picture. In the window. In the window, sorry. It was more horrible than anything she had ever seen or dreamed. She could now make out her own face in the puzzle. Oh my Because gosh. it was lit up. Lisa looked at the picture of herself in the puzzle and then back it to that shadow. Then she whirled around. This is it. The blind was no longer over her window. The night showed black through the window pane. A full moon, moon hung low in the sky. She looked back at the jigsaw puzzle for the final time. Lisa screamed in the... In the strangest jigsaw puzzle in the world, she saw a dark figure standing behind her. The figure held a knife underneath her neck. Oh my god. That was a really good story. I like that one the most of tonight's stories, Jason, for sure. Um, the strangest jigsaw puzzle in the world. I mean, I knew where it was going, but it was still a great story. That's I feel like that's like a short horror clip or something that like or would be anyway like I don't know it seems like some black mirror th type crap to me it really does yeah but I really like that when you can actually make like a uh, like she said a short movie out of that you know and it'd be amazing it'd be really good yeah um the suspense of it too the whole time she's building like oh my god this is my room and that that human ambition of like not knowing if you want to finish it or not and oh I would have I would have threw that shit out what would happen if she didn't finish it if she had survived, would it just nothing would have happened? Burned it? I mean, why f she would have died if she finished it? Because she finished it. And, and she got her neck slit. So, yeah. I mean, but why she... not not finish it and see how it goes? There you go. <laughs> Guys, if you ever find a mysterious jigsaw and you start putting it together, it looks like you're in a room. Quit! Do not finish it. Probably burn it. Toss it out. Throw it in your fireplace. 
25 cents, just scratch it. If you lost it, it's gone. That's it. <laughs> it ain't yeah. worth your life. Not a quarter. Or buy cute cat puzzles instead. That was five bucks. Did you hear me? Yeah, cute cat puzzles. Buy cute cat puzzles instead. Oh, we have God. a cat puzzle. Do we? Zoe. Oh, Jesus. Remember? Heck so, we haven't yeah. made it yet. We got it for her for Christmas, and we haven't made it. We need to do it. Yeah, we do. Um, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe for Jason Forvore. He's doing important support, change you love, and peace out. Bye.